This spider has mutated. It's eaten something and grown down scenes of times bigger than an elephant. He climbed up a tall building to show off its size. But it doesn't know that danger is coming. Where the spider came from? The movie begins at the beginning. The spider first appears in a hospital morgue. It wasn't that big at the time. It bites a doctor. Luckily, his life is not in danger. The doctor comes out and tells the owner of the hospital that a big spider has bitten him. The man next to him, John, is a pest expert. He knows more about spiders. He comes up with a bill to make a deal with the owner. He catches the spider for the boss and he waves the hospital bill. The hospital security guard takes John to the morgue to catch the spider. The activity begins. John analyzes the situation carefully. He thinks the spiders are hiding in their ducts. He climbs into the ducts to look for the spider. At this point, the spider crawls into a patient's room and gets under the patient's blanket. The patient knew he was in danger, but there was nothing he could do. The next moment, he is sucked dry by the spider on his face. The spider is not satisfied. The next victim is the homeless man. The homeless man was picking up garbage. He accidentally stumbled upon the spider, and the next thing he knew, it was attacking. In one night, the spider killed two people. These two incidents have attracted the attention of the FBI. They also start looking for the spider, along with John and the hospital security guard. They split up with the FBI to see who can find the spider first. The spider appears in the park and kills another person. FBI HQ has spotted the spider via satellite in a tree in the park, and it's grown down scenes of times its size. The chief started to gather the team to rush to the park. A big spider broke the piece in the park. The spider spits out its web when it sees people and then packs them away. Everyone was scared away by the scene. Some couldn't outrun it and could only be killed by the spider. A passerby who wasn't afraid to die was still filming it. Maybe the video it took wasn't trending, so he wanted to post it online. But the next second, the spider locked onto him. Some people are directly scared silly in place, only let out screams. The spiders had already killed their eyes, stabbing and killing everyone in sight. It didn't take long for the park to be littered with corpses. A boy saw it. He felt bad, and the spider chased after the boy. At this point, John found the spider in his car. In order to lure the spider away, he drove the car in front of the spider and made a U-turn. The spider is enraged by John's skill and starts chasing him. John increases the gas pedal, but he can't get rid of the spider, and the spider can't catch up with John. The security guard on the passenger side pokes his head out and shoots at the spider, but it doesn't seem to do much good. The spider chased them around 18 turns and eventually drove down a dead end road. The police stopped the spider. John quickly stops and runs. The captain orders the spiders to be shot at. The spider was wounded by the firepower of a small team. The police are still attacking. The spider has gone mad. It lifts the car and throws it at the police, then makes a big jump into the crowd. The police increased their firepower. The spider seemed to be scared. He jumped into the woods and escaped. The police decided to search the woods. John asked to join them, saying that he knew the spider best and that it would be useful to bring him along. But he was refused. In the woods, the police split up to search for spider. This allowed spider to find a chance to kill back. One or two men were no match for him. The officers at the headquarters can only watch his men die. The other officers can't concentrate at once. If this goes on, the police may be killed one by one by spider. Lisa is one of the police officers. She accidentally got stuck in the spider's web. She asked her teammates for help, and it got stuck too. The spider finds them, and the next moment, the teammate is taken away by the spider. Lisa is still not out of the woods, but John finds her and she's saved. John easily rescues Lisa, but the spider finds them too. It's over. Lisa's backpack has explosives. She's going to die with the spider. At that critical moment, the security guard rushed out. He runs up to the spider and blitzes it, which buys them time to escape, but Lisa is one step behind and is caught by the spider. The spider wrapped Lisa up and her teammates came over to raid together, and the spider was defeated. After returning, John proposed to rescue Lisa immediately, but was rejected by the officers, who thought that Lisa had already died. But the mission of eliminating the spiders continues. A giant spider is roaming the streets of downtown, and it's no slouch. It's so big, it's causing havoc in the city with every step it takes. And when it sees a human, it jumps on him. Police bullets don't hurt him at all. When it's time to lay its eggs, the spider climbs up a tall building and lays them. It won't be long before there are more and more big spiders. The humans won't give him a chance. The police send a helicopter. HQ found Lisa lying in the building. She's still alive. The chief rushed to inform John. He told John to rescue Lisa. He didn't order him to fire on the spiders, because Lisa was still on the building. But he couldn't delay. He asked John to rescue Lisa within 10 minutes or else the spiders would breed more spiders. John drove to the high floor when a heavy object fell and hit the car. John climbed out of the car trembling. He thought he was going to get hurt, but a great sense of duty made him stand up. The security guard was also safe. He went up to the tower with John. Armed, he stepped into the elevator. Luckily, the power didn't go out. He made it to the floor where Lisa was trapped. 
Lisa called out to John for help, but there were many other people trapped in an elevator, and they rescued them one by one. The spiders have multiplied again. The spiders have multiplied, and they need to be rescued in order to speed up the time it takes for John to rescue Lisa. John stomps one, shoots another, and Lisa shoots one. More and more spiders are coming out of their shells. They can't stay here any longer. They fight and retreat, and then they make it to the elevator. On the other side, the officers gave the order to launch a general attack on the spiders. It only took two shots to shoot down the spiders. Everyone thought the spiders were wiped out. They were discussing how to have a celebration party. The chief also called to thank John for saving Lisa. The next moment, the spider was moving again. It was only slightly wounded. John is determined to destroy the spider. He runs underneath the spider's feet to find its weakness. He dodged the spider's attack with a euro step, and the spider didn't hit John with a single kick. The security guard brings John a mortar, and he shoots the spider in the ass and the spider is destroyed. In the end, John and Lisa lived happily ever after. As it turns out, if you are brave enough, you can get the perfect love.